Hello music lovers, welcome to my new video. It's really hot here in Italy but I'm still trying to record. I have so much things to tell you but first of all I want to talk about an app, a music app made from Italian guys. It's called Echo, this one. It's a music based social network that aims to connect uh, the two most important sides of the music industry the artists and the spectators, like uh, the fans, like the manager or promoters. I really like this app because you have your public profile here and then you can share all your music performance with all the users of the platforms in the home page here. Since we are celebrating the 400,000 subscribers I just uploaded a preview of my new Bohemian Rhapsody piano arrangement that I will upload on YouTube in the next week. Yeah. So you can find the links in the description for download the app and check it out my arrangement. Then I want to apologize for not having posted the new videos for a long time, but I've been really busy with the study and the lessons. As you know, I'm now studying in a music academy here in Italy and classes take place every day, so I had no time to record new videos. However, my first year in the academy is almost finished and so now I'm having some time to record new videos like the Coldplay or the Queen uh, arrangements. In this video I would like to talk about what happened and what changed mainly in the last year, yeah. I started playing the piano 8 years ago with the keyboard that I received as a gift but I fell in love with the instrument thanks to some old YouTube tutorials of some Coldplay songs, yeah. And when I started my own YouTube channel in 2009 I had no expectations in it and I think that is precisely this that gave me the power to continue uploading without getting any important result. Then some of my videos like the Coldplay medley or the Let Her Go arrangement went viral and so my growth became exponential so much to quadruple the number of subscribers in just one year, yeah, in last year. This allowed me to start working with brands like an influencer. My first big assignment was the composition that I made for Sony Mobile for the smartphone launch in the last year. And since that moment my relationship with brands it's grown and grown enough to have now all these products to show you. You made me a lot of questions on my Instagram and uh, Facebook profile and so now I will answer to some of them. And then I will show you some of the products that brands provide me. Please answer to the survey that you can find here because I want to know if you like these kind of videos in which I show you the products that uh, brands send me. So the first question comes from Gracie on my Instagram profile and she asks Is playing by ear natural for you or did you have to be told? It's pretty natural for me because I didn't study how to do that. I don't have the absolute ear, but I can arrange songs without any particular problems. Then one more girl from Italy, Alessia Sanfelici, asks me why did you start playing the piano? And I think that I already answered in the introduction of this video, so I think that it's clear now. I'm just realizing that I've unintentionally answered to a lot of questions in my introduction. For example, one more question is Were you confident about becoming so big in your initial days? No, I wasn't. The first products that I want to show you are headphones. Several music brands contacted me because they wanted to send me their products. And the first one is Meze, this one. They make professional headphones and earphones. I tried both and they sound very, 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 very well. And uh, in the bag you have the headphones and there are a lot of accessories in this small bag like uh, uh, cables, adapters. I really like them. I use them very often when I play the piano and I hear the original song so I can play my version. Then I have two pairs of earphones. The first one 
by Nietzsche and the other one by, by Studio and uh, they, these are wireless and these not and I prefer this one but if I have to compare them in terms of uh, audio quality these are the best the problem is that they are uh, in ear I put them in my ears <laughs> I don't know how to solve this problem Troy9214 asks me tea or coffee I can't handle the coffee so iced tea is the best the next question is from Facebook Silvio Staber asks me what was your motivation in times when it didn't go as well as you wanted in playing the piano you know getting stuck in a large piece no motivation to practice and so on did you have such a time yeah it happens to me a lot of time but uh, I think that you don't have to play if you don't want to do it you didn't sign an agreement with your piano or with your instrument so just relax and take your time and then restart to study that piece then this product comes from Ziyun and this is a stabilizer for smartphone I have to be honest I don't need that <laughs> because I asked for the bigger version the one for the camera but they, but they just sent me the smartphone version this is the bag and this is the stabilizer I just made a little video with it so check it out The next question is from one more Italian guy, his name is Isidoro Sofia and he asked me uh, how much time I require to arrange a new song. I think that depends on the song because there are some songs that I arranged in just one or two hours, yeah, and others like the Bohemian Rhapsody arrangement that took me two weeks to be ready. Yeah, it's one of the best arrangements that I ever made. Then I started a collaboration with Komono, that's a brand that makes mainly watches but uh, uh, glasses too, sunglasses. And I started wearing uh, their accessories in my videos. And this is a brand new watch that they just sent me. I just got a new pair of sunglasses too. I won't use them in my videos but <laughs> I will wear them this summer. John Alvey asks What's hard for you or what seems to regularly trip you up when it comes to playing or composing for the piano? I think that the hardest part of uh, arranging a song is when you try to make it yours. It's really easy to choose a song and then start playing it on the piano in a simple version but when you try to put your sign on it so when you uh, change the harmony or make a different bass line or start improvising on it I think that this kind of stuff requires more time then I want to spend a few words on Fujifil they gave me the Instax 70 mini and uh, it's an amazing camera I bought a cover for it from Amazon and this is the this is the camera and uh, it's really easy to use and these are some shots that I got from her. then I want to show you some tech products these are from Anker this is the Soundcore Pro it's a portable speaker with an amazing sound quality it's quite small but 
it's really 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 powerful and they sent me some cables and a portable charger too Veronica Tay asks what are your future plans regarding music and playing piano uh, as you know I'm now studying in a music academy I study jazz piano but not because I want to become a jazz pianist but because I wanted to learn more about different harmonies and I really like the jazz harmony so that's the reason why I'm doing this one more plan for the future is to start uh, doing in real life what I'm currently doing on YouTube so starting making shows and tours uh, in which I play all all the stuff that you can find on my YouTube channel and uh, some composition and other stuff Saif Edin Makluf asks me what's your first melody you learned? my first melody as I said in the introduction was a Coldplay song that I learned thanks to a YouTube tutorial it was Viva la Vida yeah it's really hot here oh. so guys let me know if you want to see more spoken videos like this in which I talk and I review some products for my 500,000 subscribers I will record a tour of the little studio, I will show you all the stuff that I use for my recordings and see you in the next week with my Bohemian Rhapsody piano arrangement it's my best arrangement thank you for watching, bye bye guys <laughs> <laughs>